This is the plaintiff, Michelle Smalls. She says she moved out of an apartment she lived in for eight years, and the defendant told her she could store a few things there for a week or so. When she went to retrieve them, he told her he threw her stuff out. Why would he throw out ten very expensive custom leather coats and three mirrors? She thinks he stole her belongings and is suing for the $2,500 she's now owed. This is the defendant, George Granizo. He says he's been the superintendent in the building the plaintiff lived in for 27 years, and his reputation is A number one. The plaintiff is claiming he held some coats for her and some mirrors, but all she asked him to store was an air conditioner and some blinds. He thinks this woman's just looking for a handout. He never held on to her coats and owes her nothing. He's accused of being a coat keeper. All parties, please use your right hand. You see to come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, Michelle Smalls. Yes. You are suing George Graniso, the super from of your former building, mm -hmm. for twenty-five hundred dollars and missing items that you say he agreed to hold for you and didn't. Tell yes. me what happened. Okay, so on April, end of April, I was moving uh, away, so I my. Initial move was how uh, long had you lived there? Eight years. And you were moving. You bought a place. Yes, in okay. Westchester. And um, so, I, April 29th, I moved all my items, with the exception of a few, because I couldn't. I didn't have the space to um, take it with me. When were you supposed to move? April 29th. April 30th is the last day of the lease. Okay. Okay. So the following day, which was April 30th, I came back and I cleaned out the apartment and also. Um, the items that were left was my air conditioner and my custom blinds and also my coats that were neatly packed in bags in the closet in a shopping cart. In a uh, shopping cart? Well, because they were neatly folded. I didn't, he didn't have Wait, to do... Wait, did you steal a shopping cart and put it in your no, closet? No, no, I left the shopping cart purposely. No, I mean, did you steal it from the grocery store? <laughs> no, it's my own shopping cart. Actually, I was oh, going what do you to... Mean, what do you mean, the kind, the, the right, person... Right, shopping cart, yes. Oh, my goodness. Pushing okay. shopping cart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, because I had the intention of taking my items Why with didn't you me, just take them? Because it was 10 o'clock at night, and so? it is large items. According to you, it's $2,500 worth of items right. in the shopping cart. I understand. $2,500 right. worth of items in the shopping cart because you have 10 custom made leather coats. Yes. 10. Right. Not one, not two, 10 Absolutely. custom made. Where do you custom make your leather coats? Well, you know, throughout the years or what have you, you go and you. Where, where been, do you do it? In Manhattan. I mean, where? you go. What's the name of the place? I, it's been so many years. You I have 10 of them and you can't name the name of the I, place. Not all of them were custom made, but well, like, that's what you said in your in your well, complaint. Well, I mean, see, majority of them were custom made out of out of ten. Do you have any receipts for any of these coats? No, because it's been so many years. Do you have any proof that there were any coats in that shopping cart? Um, no, I do not. Because but I do have in the fact, audio. when you come back, when mm -hmm. do you come back? Do you come back on the thirtieth and take everything with you? No. No, because I asked him. I what, what happened was it was ten o'clock at night. On the thirtieth. Yes, ma'am. And I went downstairs to the super to him and I handed him the keys. I informed him that I still have my custom blinds and my air conditioner and my uh, belongings, my coats in the closet. He said to me, don't worry because it's gonna be a full week. I have to paint and also I have to move cabinetry, cabinetry from within the uh, kitchen. So just call me during the week, of which I did. I followed up on Thursday, which was May 4th. I called him and I informed him, I said, when can I come and pick up my items? He said, well, I do have the air conditioner and I have your blinds. And I said, um, and what about my other items that were in the closet? He said, I'm sorry, I threw those away. Okay. Okay. So I, at that point in time, I said to him, well, why would you throw my items away if we already agreed? Do you think maybe he thought that it was garbage? No. Do you think he thought that there was $2,500 worth of custom-made leather coats no. in it? Why would he commit and agree to one part and not do the other? Very nice. Now, let's hold that thought. Let's put a pin mm. on it, and let's talk to him. Mr. Granizo, yes, tell me what it is that you have been the super for that building for how long? 27 years. Oh, my goodness. How many units are in the building? 65. 65? I work right. by myself in there. My God, you're growing into the I building. Do, the building is you, and you are the building. I do everything in there, and that building, so far, 65, 65 apartments have been renovated 
from top to bottom. Okay. I do plumbing, electricity, and everything. All right. So on the day that she's supposed to be 100% completely out because her lease is over, according to her, she talks to you and she says, I don't have room, time, or energy for the for what? What does she tell you to please hold for her? What she told me, I, I was almost ready to go to sleep at 10 o'clock. She ring my bell at 10, 15, and she come in. Is there uh, no limit to when people can bother you? Doesn't matter. That's I'm, your job. The superintendent is 24 hours. 24 seven, hours. Uh, seven right. days a week. OK. She, she gave me the key, and she said, can, can you please pull it out, the air conditioner and the ventilation Wait blind. a minute. What do you mean pull out? The, the air the conditioner from the, the window. From the window. Oh, she needed you to remove her AC? AC and the... Wait, you didn't remove your own AC? No. You no, wanted him I to do the him. work for you? So you did that? You pulled the I AC did, out? I, I told him I would compensate And then, and then what? And the Venetian Did blind. you compensate him? I told. I, well, did you compensate him? He told me no. no he doesn't okay. want it. So no. you pulled the AC and you and you and then you had to get on a ladder and take down the her blinds. Right. Oh, okay. And then and what? I bring it downstairs in the basement. Okay. In my workshop. Did had she said? Wh tell me exactly what she said to you, according to you. What she told me is, can you please take it out the air conditioner from the uh, from the window in the Venetian blinds and keep it for me? I say okay. This is the key. And that's it. And that's I, it. I close the door. And so I when is the first time bed. that you hear that she says, wait, where's all the other stuff I left in the apartment four days ago? That, that she's supposed to come back on Monday to pick up the AC and the Venetian blind. True. Just, ma'am, did, did I allow him to pipe up and... Yes. Okay. And she yeah. show up on Thursday. There is the time to take the garbage out uh, that week. And that's why she coming oh, to pick Thursday's garbage day? Yeah. Ooh, she just come on Wednesday. So what, that other <laughs> stuff that she's talking about, what was it? How did, what did it look like? There was plastic bags in there. In that garbage closet. bags? Garbage bag, black. Okay. And I even know what is in there. So the apartment is already rented for the first. Right. So I have to move out. For the out. first? For the first. How are so you going to paint the place in, on, the, on the first if she didn't get out until the third? I've, I finished finish, uh, on Wednesday. So what when did you hand it over? On the first or another day? No, and the other day, the third. The third, okay. The third. All right, so now when you go in there, you do you actually remember plastic bags or are you assuming that's what happened? No, there was plastic bags in there, every, a couple of things. Uh, I okay. just pulled it out and put it, and put it in the garbage. Okay, and then the garbage day is Thursday? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, May I interject? Yeah, you actually have a video that you feel proves your case. Um, Can, I'd like to hear the video. Um, this is it here? Interject, um, Mayor, I mean, excuse me, Judge Millian. Mayor. Sorry. I'm thinking I of Kosh. Kind of like it. I'm thinking of Kosh. Sorry. <laughs> kind of like it. Is it a ring? Is it a ring? Go ahead. <laughs> um, actually, there's two garbage days. So for Monday evening, is for the furniture. This evening. isn't furniture. These are plastic well, bags. Well, I'm saying anything, you know, any items or anything of that no, sort you can't. other than garbage. One day's big bulky, one day's garbage and trash. And trash is in the plastic bags. So let's hear the video. Okay. Now, did he know you were taping him? Yes. Why can't you call me? I thought it came earlier. You said, give me a call this week. You said, Michelle, give me a call this week. I'm real sorry, like I say. But why would you throw it away if we already because agreed? Because you told me, yes, to take off your air conditioner and your Venetian blind. And the other Venetian blind is in the back at the other side. I don't throw it away, yeah. I don't, I don't care. What I'm saying to you, if you see my stuff was in there, everything was packed neatly. It wasn't garbage in there. Wait, you got him working again? You got him lifting the AC for you? Yeah. Oh, Man, for the love of all what? the time. I already said Can I, I ask you a question? Let me ask you a question, all right? You move out of a place and you don't take everything. You ask a guy who works there. The sweat of his brow, 24-7, helping you, doing things he doesn't need to do, like taking the AC out and unscrewing your blinds, to hold on to the AC and the blinds. And According to coat. you, you tell him, and any other crap I leave here behind, too, go store it for me because I'm not ready to take it, no. even though I had movers yesterday and I'm here today. According to him, all you told him was, and... There's a certain beauty to this because he's the guy who you're asking, can you, can you go through the energy of disconnecting my AC, carrying it downstairs, hurting your own back, and, uh, and unscrewing all of my blinds and saving them I wouldn't do that without compensation. I told him I was going to pay him. Do you hear me talking? I told him I was going to pay him. Do you hear me talking?
Will the plaintiff win her coke case? Will she get 2,500 bucks? Judge Millian rules next. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So, do you believe that this woman left 10 custom leather coats behind? She would be crazy to leave custom coats behind if they were worth that much. So you're saying she's a liar? Yes. Okay. What do you say, ma'am? I say the law is blind. The guy had to give her notice. Okay. And sir? Uh, no, I agree. I think it's ridiculous that she would leave 10. Well, do you think she did leave 10 leather coats behind? No, I don't believe that at all. But she's making it up. I think so. I think so, too. Going inside the courtroom. I don't know whether you left stuff there behind. I believe that you did. I believe oh, there's something. Nice. I don't believe you that it's 25 or a 10 custom-made leather coats that you have no receipts for, but I believe there was something left behind. What I find unbelievable is that you feel that what is clearly at worst a misunderstanding, at worst, a misunderstanding, Gives you the right to sue this guy who you're asking for a favor in court. I didn't ask him for you a favor. You can't him... prove he understood you at 10 o'clock at night when you have the hubris to wake him up and say, hey, I know I'm supposed to be out today, but there's a bunch of stuff I didn't take. You know, he says all you told him was, will you disconnect my blinds and will you take which makes sense because that's what you tell the super. You happen to have left stuff behind and no, now you're trying to hold true. the poor super responsible for it? That's not mm -hmm. true, ma'am. Not that's here, not honey. True. Not today, not in my courtroom. No, I went, I, Verdict I went for lie. the defendant. Well, the plaintiff does not prevail. She does not get the $2,500 she was seeking. Ms. Smalls, what do you think? What's your reaction I here? think she didn't give me enough time because if he moved the air conditioner and he moved the blinds and I asked him to also take the belongs in the closet, I told him I would compensate. I'm not going to ask someone to do work and not compensate. That doesn't make any sense to me. If he's going to do a job, it was a job. I'm going to pay him for it. Very good. Well, look, I'm sorry that you couldn't convince the judge that you, well, you had the $2,500 worth of coats there. She was there. already convinced herself. She didn't give me enough time. Well, sorry. That's the way it goes. Yes, it okay. is. Okay? Can't help you. All right, sir, Mr. Granzio, what are you thinking? Well, my reputation was not online. I worked for 27 years. I don't have it. nothing to do with this woman. She always want me to work on Saturday and Sundays and there in her apartment. Yeah. And now they, when somebody in my building for the last 27 years, when they hang at my, at the keys for the apartment, I got to clean the apartment. I don't care what's in there. I yeah. don't start to look for nothing. All right. And that's, and that's what's going on. Well, listen, sorry you were brought into court, but I think the judge sided with you. No okay. question about it. And you're a good guy to take down her air conditioner and her blinds, yeah. too. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Harvey, what do you think? Okay, Doug. So here's a lesson. Um, she lied about um, what she left behind. And the problem is this. When you lie to a judge in court and you lie about one thing, it allows the judge to say, well, they may be just liars about everything. And it totally ruins your credibility. So even if you say, well, I'll tell a lie about this, this can affect everything else. That will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.